It doesn't talk, but this robot here at the Capitol Complex is an example of the importance of after-school engineering programs. Brian's a pretty good example, too. I've learned a lot of good communication skills and growing... Uh... I've gained a lot of friends. And he's gained a lot of knowledge as part of the Gus Robotics Team 228. It's made up of kids from five different schools in Meriden and Wallingford, and it competes here. <laughs> this is the regional competition of FIRST for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. Teams get six weeks to build a robot to compete in a specific challenge. This robot here was built to play a game called Locomotion. It's basically you got to pick up these inner tubes and you hang them on pegs on the wall. And in addition to success in competitions, Gus 228 has also been recognized for its community service. We do a lot of things with our community. We go into middle schools and we help with another program called FLL that's also incorporated in FIRST. And we go and we help the kids and we introduce them into FIRST. That way when they get up into high school, they can come and join us. And they brought their robots to Hartford to remind lawmakers of the importance of funding extracurricular programs, especially ones that encourage kids to study math, science, and engineering. The FIRST Robotics Competition not only encourages the kids to use all this information and get creative, but also provides millions of dollars in college scholarships. On the scene at the LOB, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.